It's Sinclair, and as you just heard, officials do hope to make this an annual event. Hundreds witness history as a handful of World War II era bombers makes a trip across the Miami Valley. New at 5.30, Jordan Burgess is live with why the flight is so significant. Well, we've come a long way in aviation, but these planes helped save the world. And even after retirement, they're still going strong. They're up before the sun, ready for another mission, just like old times. This is history that the kids in this area will never get to see again. These B-25 bombers have seen a lot over the years, most of it from 20,000 feet. Like with any group of veterans, not many are left. Well, this is maybe the last time you'll get, you know, 75% of the world's flying B-25s here. As with anyone who ages, getting ready in the morning isn't the simplest of tasks. But once those engines come to life with that familiar sound, it's time to go. From Grimes Field here in Urbana. Within hours, the planes are lined up once again, this time at the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force. For Carl Zeller, it's a day he won't soon forget, and not just because it's his birthday. This is heaven, yeah, this is a good deal. Now the B-25s are in town for the 70th anniversary of the Doolittle Tokyo Raid, and of course we'll have coverage of the memorial service that's taking place for that tomorrow at the Museum of the U.S. Air Force, and interviews with...